Yeah, um, we don't know each other, but speaking on behalf of millions of American parents, I have four at home. I had to teach them at home. My wife had to teach them at home. I am stunned at what you have said this week about your claiming to have wanted to reopen schools. I think most you'll find that most parents believe you were the tip of the spear of school closures. There are numerous statements you made over the summer of 20, scaring people to death about the possibility of opening schools. And I hear no remorse whatsoever about the generational damage that's been done to these kids. I have two kids with learning differences. Do you know how hard it is for them to learn at home and not in a classroom that was designed for them? And for you to sit in front of Congress and the American people and say, oh, I, I wanted to open them the whole time. I, I am shocked. I'm stunned. I'm stunned. And there are millions of parents who feel the exact same way. Okay. Go ahead, Ryan. In addition to being humiliated on CNN, Weingarten was also fact-checked on Twitter via community notes that clearly showed that the union boss pushed for school closures even into 2022. We want to go back to in school. We need to actually get back to in-person learning. I am a big believer that we have to reopen safely and carefully. If you hear the frustration in my voice, mm -hmm, I do. we put out a plan at the end of April. The teachers want it. 76% of teachers say they're in for um, going to school because teachers want to teach kids. They want to go back to school. Yeah. They know that it's important for kids. We want schools to reopen. We know in-school learning is better than remote. We've been trying to get kids back into school throughout the country, and we worked with New York City to do right. it. Let's really try to figure out how to have in-school learning and how to make it safe. This is how do we make sure that in-school learning happens because we know how important it is. The teachers of this country understand that in-person education is really important. Teachers would have told you pre-pandemic that, that remote education is not a substitute. We already have 18 of 20 of the largest school districts that are open for in-person learning. My union has been trying to reopen schools since last April. They want to be in school. They know that that's important. Teachers want to be back with kids. And in the districts that I represent, it's about 95% of those districts are now reopened for in-person learning. All of that is really great news. We want school to reopen everywhere this fall in person. I'm a big believer that we have to have in school learning. The bottom line, Martha, is it's time for our kids to be back in school. Anyone who knows educators in America know that we want to be in school. It's full speed ahead for the fall. We were the first ones to put a report out about how to get back to in school learning. I mean, teachers do want what kids need. I'm all in okay. for getting schools open all the time. We can and we must reopen schools in the fall. The safety protocols are the way to get kids and keep kids in school. We want to be in school. Our kids have to be in school. They have to be safe. And we're going to do everything we can on vaccines, ventilation, masking to do to make that happen. It seems like those who pushed COVID-19 lockdowns on the American population have realized just how detrimental they really are and are attempting to backtrack. Both Weingarten and Dr. Anthony Fauci have attempted to whitewash their efforts during the pandemic to lock Americans in their homes and keep children out of school.